Hi, boys and girls. Hi, everybody. How are you? We hope you're doing well. Absolutely. Rainy, dreary Sunday today, huh? Yes, it is. I'm hoping that the rest of the week the sun will shine. I hope so, too. We could use a nice, good, sunny day. Uh, Mrs. Pollock and I are here for your weekly fun video, and I guess we could start calling them challenges, couldn't we? I think we could. I think so, we're both challenging each other, and yeah. we're hoping that other people are going to take our challenges as well. Yes, that's a good way of putting it. So uh, this week, what we're going to do is we're going to do a little Pictionary fun between Mrs. Pollock and myself, and we're going to do, I think we said around two, and then we'll give you guys up. <laughs> there. Can you see my cat? I was practicing. Um, see if you guys can do Pictionary as well through a Flipgrid. Are okay. you ready, Mrs. Pollock? All right, so you're getting your word, right? Yep, I have my word. I have a Pictionary generator. And see. And I guess if you didn't have that Pictionary generator, you could just think up something you wanted to. Yeah, you could. You're right. Okay, here do we Do I have to wait till you're done? I don't think so. I think you can guess right away. Okay, here we go. Okay. Ooh. I see a circle. Ooh, is it a cloud with rain coming out of it? No. no. Is it, oh, I think I might have it. Is it a table? Yes! Hey! <laughs> That's okay. a very nice table. Thank you. You know, I think I'll do another one. Okay. Do one more and because otherwise it would be really hard to this. screen share. We're really good at this. I'm not doing that one. Ooh. <laughs> oh, these are tricky. Oh boy. All right, so it's around. And it's got a bump on its head. <laughs> it's something that has a bump. And it's got spots. Oh my. I was thinking it was going to be a snowman. Oh no. No, it's not a snowman. Oh, I think I might know. Oh, I'm going to give it a little more time. I guess I could really make you make a fabulous picture if I just watch. You could. You're right. I think I know what it is. Okay. What is, is it? Is it a ladybug? Well, it's not a ladybug. It's just a... Is it just an insect? A bug? It's just a bug, but I, I couldn't know. figure out how to draw just a bug. It's just a bug. Okay. Just a bug. We'll do All another right. Do another All one. Right. I'll do one more. Okay. Oh, this one's easy. You can say that because you know the word. What are you doing? <laughs> I lost my drawing pen. Oh, okay. Hmm. Is it a peapod? No. Is it a slug? It's a slug. <laughs> Oh, I know what it is. It's an eye. It's an eye. One eye? One eye, just eye. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, I thought it was a slug. Oops. All right, I am going to stop my screen share. That way you can do it. All right, so now I'm going to give you a couple. All right, let's see. I'm a little nervous. You're nervous. <laughs> All right, let's see. Now, I only see you. Do you see me too? Yeah, there we are. Yeah, I can see both of us. Okay. I'm, pick, I'm, pick, I'm picking easy ones, right? Yes. Okay. Whew. All right, I'm ready. Let's see if I can do this. I'm trying to draw with my left hand, because that's all lefty. Oopsie, I dropped my pencil. I'm thinking mountain. What? You got it already? <laughs> <laughs> I'm so good. Whoop, whoop. I'm such a good drawer. I drew one thing. Do you have, you have the words? Come on. You no, I don't have your words. Sorry. I should have right. guessed triangle okay. first. Okay. I've got my next one. Let me clear this. Are you ready? I'm ready. All right. I won't guess right away. You can guess if I'm that, if I'm that good and I'm drawing pictures so well, you can guess as soon as you think you know it. Whoa. Hmm. An arrow? Kind of. Uh, Not really. I think I know what it is. <laughs> a pencil. It is! Yay! Yay! Kind of a wonky looking pencil, huh? Probably my favorite brand of pencils too, right? 
It was. I didn't get a chance to color it yellow and my <laughs> ponderoga on it, but you know I would. I know you do would. Do I do another one or are we one done? More. Yeah, do another one. Ooh, this one's really hard. You want a hard one? I don't know. You want a hard one? Sure. All if right. you think you can draw it. I was just going to say, I'm the one that has to draw it. Let's see if I can do this. I wonder if it's the same one that I got that was hard that I said no thank you to. It could be. Uh, I don't know. Huh. Is it an animal? Am I allowed to answer that question? I don't know. It's our game. Yes, you can answer that question. Is it an elephant? It is an elephant. Oh, wow, you're a really good drawer. I don't know if I could have drawn I that. Really looks like I think what? it looks like an elephant. Yeah, definitely. Okay, it just needs like water coming out. I, I guess I'm done, huh? Yeah, that was good. All right, thank you. All right, so that was fun. I think so, how can we challenge people to do this? I guess they'll have to, we'll have to send them the link. Okay. Because they're, Mrs. Pollock and I used um, a Pictionary word generator right. and see how many people can guess your drawings, right? How many people can guess it correctly? I think so. I mean, they could probably, if they, if they don't have the whiteboard tool that we used on Flipgrid, I know they do on Flipgrid. Don't they have that drawing? I think they do. Yeah, I think they have so a drawing Flipgrid, tool. They could do that or they could just use a piece of paper. Very true. And draw in it. And then people could comment mm -hmm. on their Flipgrid what it yeah. might say. I think that's great. That would be fun. All right, let's do it. Okay. All right. I am going to share my screen now and get into our schoolwork for the week. So can you see my screen, Mrs. Pollock? I can. Okay. Let's so go. our weekly learning calendar looks like it normally does. And I will start with our reading. Same same kind of routine. Read 30 minutes every day. Your daily reading check-in will be in Google Classroom every day so I can know what you're reading. I can send you uh, book suggestions if you want them. I can help you find books if you have run out of books. And the really good news, which I've already told Mrs. Pollock about, is that on Wednesday, I get to drive up to that free book fair and they are giving me 600 books to bring home to give out. 600 books. Oh, Isn't that wonderful? That is. I didn't realize it was 600. 600. So Wednesday afternoon, I will have them laid out all over my living room and try and find what I know you guys will love to read. And then I can either leave them at the school for you, or maybe I can just have doing no contact drop off at your house. I'd be happy to help you with that. If you'd like. I know that might be fun, right? You know, you should do like an unboxing video. Oh, that's a great idea. That is a great okay. idea. Um, and then we're going to have our same reading lessons again. Very similar to what we've done in the past. This time, I'm just giving you two different topic choices, where before we were doing water bottles and zoos. Now we're going to do sharks versus extreme sports. And then in our extras, we have a day of writing. Uh, if you have time and want to work on your writing skills, and we also have a day of social studies, same idea of that Ed puzzle, which I think the feedback I got, those that did it enjoyed it. It's a little video that stops and asks you multiple choice questions. Excellent. That sounds like fun. Well, can I tell them about math? Yeah, go ahead. All right. So in math this week, um, we're studying volume still. And I have to apologize. Last week on Friday, Something happened. I don't know. It wasn't Friday. We were on a field trip on Friday. Oh, that's it right. On Thursday. The link that I sent you for the Think Central lesson was not the right one. I'm really, really sorry. So this week, we're going to start off the week with building with blocks. I hope that Maggie doesn't interrupt my lesson video tomorrow and try stealing the blocks like she did last week. If you missed it, I'll post that video for you. But we're going to be counting lots of blocks, building things, figuring out how much something can hold this week. You'll notice on Tuesday, we're going to be looking at volume in terms of looking at layers, almost like a layer cake. And then that by the end of delicious. the week, I know, right? Yummy. Then by the end of the week, you should understand the formula that's used for volume. And then in science this week, we're jumping back in with Sabrina, and she's going to be talking to you about some measurement items. Oh, Maggie must know. It must be time to get involved. Hi, Maggie. Um, <laughs> and you can't see her right now, but maybe you can hear her. Yes. Her nose? Here she is. Maggie, say hi to the kids. She always wants to be part. There she is. Anyway, um, 
So Sabrina is going, you're going to be hearing some terms that you hear in math in science this week. And that's really all I have to tell you about math and science. And then on Friday, we're going to do another field trip. And it doesn't say where we're going, but Mrs. Pollock and I both put on a little accessory to give you a bit of a hint. That's going to be exciting. I, I don't know. I hope they figure it out. I hope so, too. <laughs> All right. I'm going to stop my screen share. Okay. And I think that's really it for this week, right? I think it is. I think it's going to be, as you said, hopefully the sun will come out. May is starting this week. You're right. On Friday will be May 1st. May 1st on Friday. That's unbelievable. It you is. know, when it used to be May 1st when I was little, Mrs. Van Duzer, we celebrated May Day. And what did you do on May Day? Did you ever hear about that? I don't know if I have. Oh my goodness. Well, we would make these little, um, they looked almost like ice cream cones out of paper and you'd pick flowers and put them in there and you'd deliver them secretly to your neighbors for May Day. Oh, that's sweet. And then some people would dance around a maypole. They would okay, take I've heard of maypole. That? Did they do that when you were little? I don't think so. I'm not sure. but. Maybe not. I think I feel like when I was little, it was kind of an old tradition. I think we did it once or twice in elementary school. Maybe okay. the kids in Greenport will have to research that. And yeah, that's it. I mean, I'm sure it's a quick Google. Quick it Google. probably is. And they could do a maple dance. Yeah. <laughs> Running out of things to say. All right, boys and girls. So if you need us, you've been doing a great job getting in touch commenting on Google Classroom, sending us emails, and many of you have our phone numbers. Uh, you can call us at any normal time <laughs> during the day. Absolutely. Okay? Just like we try to make sure we call you during the, the daytime as well. We don't want to wake anyone up. No, I definitely don't want to wake anybody up. I actually have to wait in the morning to call kids because yes. I get super early. So. <laughs> Me too. Anyway. All you right, see you next week. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.